Okay, so here I am. I'm in my apartment. That was a little piece of my apartment. It is uh, the day before the marathon, and um, I'm getting pumped up, I have to say. So also along with being pumped up is the usual sort of pre-race jitters. You know, you sit around because you can't really do anything, and you start to think about that hip injury that you had, that funky ankle, that toenail that bothers you and you're just kind of like all in your head about it. But anyway, at a certain point tomorrow, I'm going to have to put all that uh, aside and just get out there and run and have a good time and remember all the stuff that Sid said to me about uh, I'm making too much noise with my feet, girl, I pick up my feet and opening up my stride and um, but then again, just mostly having a good time. So I think uh, no matter what happens tomorrow, I have to say that I'm definitely a better runner. I had um, an amazing time training with Sid. He's just uh, absolutely a phenomenal teach, ment uh, teacher, mentor, and, and friend, and um, and his wife Hysteria, and uh, we just had a blast out there. So it doesn't really, really matter what happens tomorrow. Um, I just want to go out there and run a good race. This is my buddy Max. Say hi, Max. Yeah. So Max has been a recurring uh, character in my blog. Um, he's also had a very stressful time, I think, uh, during training, but it's all good. And uh, today it's really just all about, um, I've done all the work, I've already picked out what I'm going to wear, I have my race number, um, I've certainly run the miles, and so today it's really just about um, relaxing, and uh, I have the entire seventh season of Monk on DVD to watch, so all good there and uh, I'm just pretty much going to be home so it's a very kind of anticlimactic end to what has been a season of uh, extreme heat, humidity, uh, a hurricane, uh, all culminate, culminating in a nor'easter which was fabulous uh, last week and um, and it's good and so um, I really hope that uh, this, is, this is just one sort of uh, uh, incident, one event in a lifetime of fitness and health, and I'm super excited to have this moment tomorrow, but the race will continue long after. I intend to get out there with Sid immediately because he seems to think that uh, I have potential as a track star at 37, which I think is hilarious, but whatever. We're going to explore that. and. Um, we're just going to keep having a good time, enjoying each other, enjoying having a good time, enjoying being fit and active, and always, always giving back to others and helping other people to reach their fitness goals and to also be um, inspired to get up and move. So this is me. It's the day before the race. I'm chilling, and uh, I'll see you at the start tomorrow. Bye.